How are you doing, math learners? This is your free access math teacher, Ash. And welcome to ML with Sir Ash. For today's lesson, we're going to discuss kite. Now, in this lesson, you will learn the definition of a kite as well as the properties of kites. In addition, you will also learn how to solve problems involving kites as well as I will also give you a bonus concept on how to get the area of a kite. But before anything else, hit the subscribe button and notification bell for you to be updated of the School Clear Math videos just like this. Okay, math learners, welcome to another session here in Math Learning with Sir Ash. Today, we're going to discuss the most essential learning competency-based lesson for quarter 3 of the grade 9 mathematics, which is all about kites. The question is, what is a kite? A kite is a special quadrilateral in which it does not have any parallel sides. However, kite is so special that it is defined as a quadrilateral with two distinct pairs of consecutive sides that are congruent. Meaning, these two sides, consecutive sides, are congruent and these two consecutive sides are also congruent. Now, the next question is, what are the properties of a kite? The first property of a kite is that the diagonals of the kite is perpendicular. Meaning, the diagonals form in a relationship with a 90 degree angle. The second property of a kite is that it has exactly one pair of opposite angles that are congruent. Meaning, these angles are congruent However, these angles are not congruent or vice versa. There is only one pair of congruent angles. And last but not the least, the third property of a kite is that only one diagonal bisect each of the non-congruent angles as well as its other diagonal. Now, to further learn about how to apply these different properties, let us now solve some problems involving kite in our discussion board. Okay, math learners, we are now in our first problem regarding kites. Now, we have here a kite A, B, C, D, where the diagonals intersect, but it doesn't have a name of the intersection. However, we have the variables X, W, Y, Z, as our unknowns and we have also the given perimeter is equal to 56 centimeters and the measurement of angle ADC ADC is 50 degrees now how do we get the value of X Y W and Z okay my dear math learners first of all let us try to understand the given if this is a kite then the diagonals are perpendicular with each other because that is one of the properties of a kite Therefore, these diagonals gives 90 degree angle. So this is 90, 90, 90, and 90. Therefore, the value of our x is equal to 90 degrees. Easy, right? Okay. Next is that, remember that in a given kite, one diagonal will bisect the other diagonal as well as it will bisect the angles that are not congruent so if this is the angle that is not congruent to this angle therefore this is being bisected by this diagonal as well as this angle is also bisected by this diagonal now having said that the measurement of angle adc this is the adc is 50 degrees and our unknown is half of that one which is the w therefore w is equal to 25 degrees because half of 50 is 25 degrees easy right and now let us go to our angle y now remember my dear math learners that two pairs of consecutive sides in a kite are congruent this side and this side of the kite are congruent this side and this side are also congruent so therefore if this is 20 then we can also say that our y is 20 centimeters Easy, right? And now we have our Z. So how do we get the value of Z here? Now, if this is 20 and Z here is here, so of course we can say that this part is also Z length, right? 
So how do we get the value of this one? Now this is the time that we will make use of the given perimeter. So remember that the perimeter is the total measurement of all the sides. Then we can say that 20 plus 20 plus Z plus Z is equal to 56 centimeters. Because this side plus this side plus this side and this side will be the total measurement and that is the perimeter okay so 20 plus 20 that is 40 z plus z that will give you 2 z so that is 56 we will transpose our 40 to the other side giving us 56 minus 40 so 2 z 56 minus 40 that is 16 divide both sides by 2 and we have z is equal to 8 therefore the measurement of our z is 8 centimeters and now we have answered all of our problems in this given figure if you want to check your answer for z then you can have 20 plus 20 plus 8 plus 8 so that will give you 56 centimeters which is your perimeter easy right now let us go to our second figure okay math learners we are down to our second figure and this is still the kite a b c d where the measurement of line segment b d which is the diagonal is 16 centimeters and the other diagonal which is AC line segment AC is 21 centimeters now the problem here is that what is the perimeter and the area of this kite if all of its sides are integer now of course my dear math learners we cannot answer the perimeter and the area if we do not get all of its sides right however for the area Basically, the area of a kite can be computed by getting one half multiplied by the product of diagonal 1 and diagonal 2. Since diagonal 1 and diagonal 2 is already given in this figure, we can have our area is equal to one half times 16 centimeters times 21 cm. Therefore, giving us 1 half of 16, that is 8 cm, times 21 cm. So that will give us 168 centimeters square or square centimeters. So you have answered your first problem in this given figure. Now, so the second problem is that what is the perimeter of this figure? Now, my dear math learners, since we are talking about perimeter, we need to know how long would this be? And this B okay so let us try to have a clearer figure or representation of this figure so if BD is 16 of course because of the properties of a kite in which that the diagonal one diagonal will bisect the non-congruent angles as well as the other diagonal so therefore if this is 16 this would be 8 centimeter and 8 centimeter okay now for this one, this will be 21. Now my dear math learners, we cannot put any value for, now we cannot assume any value for this given or cannot divide this because this measurement and this measurement are not congruent. So how do we do this one? We have a next given statement in our problem. All the sides are integers. So since we are talking about all the sides are integers and as you can see my dear math learners this is a this is a triangle this is also a triangle they are both congruent this is another triangle and another triangle and they are both congruent but as you can see all of these triangles are what we call right triangles because they have right angles on it now if that is the case we can apply the concept of the pythagorean theorem here stated that the measurement of the hypotenuse which is the side opposite to the 90 degree angle if this is 90 degree this is the hypotenuse this is the hypotenuse this is the hypotenuse and this is the hypotenuse of their respective triangles so it is said that the hypotenuse the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the square of the sides so this a and b will represent as the sides okay so my dear math learners, given that we already have 8 here in our given triangle, let's just focus here on this triangle. Remember that we are aiming to have all integers. 
when it says all integers, we will need to consider the triples of a given right triangle. The first given triple for right triangle is 3, 4, and 5. So that is the first triple for triangles. If you have the legs 3 and 4 as the measurement, the hypotenuse will be 5. But since we don't have any 5 here, we cannot apply this first triple. The second triple could be 6, 8, and 10. That's double of this first triple. Now, 8 here is a concept of this one. It is a given. Therefore, for applying all integers, these are all integers, we could say that this is the other leg for this triple. So this could be 6cm and this will be 10cm as given by the triple. So, see, so we can apply our concept in this triangle. So we already have our measurements for one triangle. Of course, if this is 10cm, this will also be 10cm. Now, my dear math learners, the whole measurement of this diagonal is 21. If you have 6, of course, we can compute that this is 15 cm. Now, having that, we have 8 cm and 15 cm. So, we just need to get the value of this hypotenuse by applying this given formula. So, that will give us c squared is equal to 8 squared plus 15 squared, giving us 64 plus 225 because 8 squared is 64 and 15 squared is 225 adding them will give us 289 now for us to solve for the value of c we need to get the square root of each side of the equation giving us c is equal to 17 cm therefore this is 17 cm and this is also 17 cm as you can see, all of our sides now are integers. So what we can do now is we can add all the measurement of the sides and we will have our perimeter. So perimeter is the sum of all sides. So therefore, that is 10 plus 10 plus 17 plus 17. So that will give us 54 cm. And that is our answer for the perimeter. And this is also our answer for the area. Easy, right? Now, let us go to our final figure. Okay, math learners, we are down to our final figure for kite. And this is the kite RSTV where the diagonals intersect at point X. Now, the given is that if the line segment RS is 8 units and the line segment ST is 12 units, as well as the measurement of angle STX is 30 degrees and the measurement of angle SRV is 80 degrees, Find the measurement of the line segment RT, the line segment VT, the perimeter of this kite, the measurement of angles SXT, VTX, RST, SRX. Okay, so now let us start. So, for you to answer this faster and even efficiently, now you can put your values or your given to your given figure. So, RS here is 8. Okay. And your ST here is 12. So your STX, STX, oh here, STX, this is 30 degrees. And your SRV, SRV, this one, this is 80 degrees. Okay. So now, what is the measurement of RV? So line segment RV is this one, so this is the one. Now my dear math learners, Applying what we have learned in the properties of a kite, this side and this side are congruent, right? So therefore, RV or our line segment RV is equal to 8 units. Now, having said that, the same concept, if this is 8, okay? So now we will need to get this one, VT. So since our ST is given as 12, of course, this line segment and this line segment are congruent due to this given properties and figures or symbols so therefore we could say that vt is also 12 units so now having said that what is now our perimeter so 12 plus 8 that is 20 another 12 plus 8 is 20 so the total of 20 plus 20 that is 40 units so we have answered the first three now let's talk about the given problem the given angles so we have here sxt s x T. So, this is the 1. Now, my dear math learners, remember that in a kite, 
diagonals are perpendicular with each other. Therefore, SXT here is 90 degrees. Very good. Now, how about VTX? VTX. Okay. So, my dear math learners, this is given, right? The STX. So, of course, this is being bisected by this diagonal. When we talk about bisection or bisecting, this angle will be equal to this angle. So, therefore, if this is 30, this will also be 30 degrees. So, that will be 30 degrees for our measurement of angle VTX. Okay, now let us go to our next angle that is angle RST. RST. So, this is the unknown. Of course, remember that RST and RVT are congruent, right? So, how do we get this one? My dear math learners, we will consider this given. So, that is angle R. Our angle R is 80 degrees. And we will also consider our angle T. Angle T is 60 degrees. That's the total of 30 and 30. So, for us to know the measurement of RST, which is basically the angle S, so what we need to do is we must add all these four angles and this will be equated to 360 degrees. So, since the total is 360 degrees, so what we will do is we will add 80 degrees, okay, plus 60 degrees from these two given. And then we will also add another variable, let's say this is the unknown, right? So, that is S. And since S here is also the same as V here, so let's just put another S there because they are both congruent. That is one part or one property of the kite. We will have 360 degrees, so that is 80 plus 60, that will give you 140 plus 2S because S plus S is 2S. So, transposing, we have 360 minus 140 giving us 2S, so that is 220. Okay, for 2S. So, we divide both sides by 2. So, our S right now is 220 divided by 2. That is 110. So, our RST is equal to 110 degrees as well as our RVT is 110 degrees. Easy, right? Now, let us go to our SRX. SRX. Oh, here. SRX. So, this is the one. So, my dear math learners, since this is given, right, R, S, R, V, that is 80 degrees, and since this is a diagonal that bisect this angle, therefore, we just divide this by 2, 80 divided by 2, and we will have 40 degrees. And we have answered all our problems in this given figure. Okay. I hope you have now a concrete understanding about kites. Now, this is the time that I will challenge you whether you have understood our topic, and here it is. Okay, math learners, I hope you had a wonderful time on learning kites. This is also the last part of the topic in quadrilaterals. Now, if you do have some questions about these topics, feel free to put your questions in our comment section below. This is still your free access math teacher Ash. And always remember, it is fun to learn mathematics if we are together learning. Thank you so much, God bless, and keep safe always. Congratulations, math learners, for arriving to this part of the video. If you think that this video has helped you, click that like button. And if you think that this channel can change the way you see mathematics, do not forget to click that subscribe button and notification bell. Thank you.